This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Making a statement of peace in the wake of a deadly attack at a synagogue, people of different faiths stand together in Hazleton. Hi everyone and Happy New Week. I'm Ken Kerr and this is SSP TV News, your trifecta of local information on the air, online and on the Samsung Productions app. Let's get going with headlines from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. We are in this together. Those were the words of Rabbi Michael Michelin during a gathering at Beth Israel Temple in Hazleton on Sunday. The service of solidarity brought together people of all faiths after the shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. About 50 people gathered for the event in Hazleton. Carl Frankel, who helped organize the event, says he was numb by the event in Pittsburgh and that we have to stand together and not let events like that become the new normal. You can read more about the service at standardspeaker.com. Tomorrow is Election Day. How will voters in Luzerne County respond? Author and journalist Ben Bradley Jr. was in our area last month. He wrote the book The Forgotten, how the people of one Pennsylvania county elected Donald Trump and changed America. Charles McElwee, vice president of the Greater Hazleton Historical Society, hosted the discussion with Bradley at Penn State Hazleton. This year it could be more complicated because we have so many races going on. In 2016, we were really hyper-focused on Donald Trump up against Hillary Clinton. But it's important to consult that book because Ben Bradley's work, it reminds us the importance of this county. After all, 60% of Trump's winning margin that year came from Luzerne and had, and as we learned from the book, had Trump lost Luzerne, not only would he have likely lost Pennsylvania, but perhaps the general election, just because of the electoral college votes and the uh, a comparison with Wisconsin and Michigan. So yes, this will be uh, an important night and definitely uh, consult Ben Bradley's book after the midterms because it teaches us what to look for ahead in 2020. Polls open at 7 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. Another controversy over election campaign ads, Republican Justin Behrens, who's challenging incumbent state representative Gerald Mullery for the 119th district seat, is responding to a flyer he received in the mail. Well, first of all, I just want to say I'm a, I'm a veteran. I serve the United States Army. My grandmother is a Jewish uh, native, uh, immigrant that came over here. My uh, grandfather is a uh, immigrant from Cuba. And to have this come out there, is the most lowest of the low. It, it is uh, almost disgusting. Um, none of that is true. It portrays that I am part of that neo-Nazi, um, and he can disagree that it doesn't say that on face value, but if you look at the one side, it says neo-Nazi. The other side says that I'm too hateful, too dangerous. Uh, I'm a social worker. Um, that's what we, our profession is to help individuals and make people, you know, better in their vulnerable populations. We take all creeds, we take all religions, we take all races. Um, and, and I think that Gerald Mullery and the Democratic Party owe me an apology for this. Um, and it's disgraceful that this is what the elections are coming to. I'm only here to talk about the issues and what the 119th is facing and what they need better. I'm not here to talk about, you know, this mudslinging that goes back and forth. And you said, obviously, what happened was with someone who was going out and handing out petitions for you, you said, listen, I'm not vetting, you know, everybody. Someone comes up to you and says, hey, you know, I want to help out. You're like, Here, here's some flyers or here's some petitions. So, so what happens is, is when we hand out the petitions in the very beginning of the election to get your name on the ballot, there's only really two questions we really ask. They're, are you part of my party, the Republican Party? And then I ask, do you live in my district? Because they're the two things that the state of Pennsylvania asks for. So when we hand out those petitions, like you said, we hand them out, they go out there. I don't vet every single individual that's out there. I think it's disgraceful that things go like this. This is what politics has resulted to. Yeah. We see it in almost all the elections. We have to come back to talking about the issues. We have to start talking about what's going to help the people of our district, what's going to help our state, what's going to help our country. And we've got to stay away from all this kind of stuff because this is what's taking away from the whole election process and for what I served in this country overseas in combat. And a reminder for voters in Butler Township, Luzerne County, voters in Districts 1 and 4 in Butler Township will cast their ballots at the Butler Township Community Center, 411 West Butler Drive in Drums. Residents of District 2 and 3 of the township will vote at the District Council 21 Painters Union Hall in the Candu Corporate Center, 66 Azalea Drive in Drums. When the polls close, watch your vote count during our live SSP TV News election night coverage. Join us on Channel 13 HD Channel 513 in the Hazleton area and live on Facebook. Our political team will have in-depth analysis on the 2018 election. Our live coverage begins tomorrow night at 8 p.m. 
Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Let's check out our work week forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight we have a 40% chance of showers, mainly after 9 p.m. It will be cloudy with a low of 44 degrees. Tuesday, a hazardous weather outlook with the possibility of heavy rain and wind. Tuesday, showers and thunderstorms likely 70% chance, high of 58. At night, 30% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming clear with a low of 42. Wednesday will be sunny with a high in the mid-50s, partly cloudy at night, low of 33. Thursday, mostly sunny, high of 48, 30% chance of snow showers Thursday night night with a low of 32. Showers likely on Friday, 70% chance of precipitation, high of 45. 40% chance of snow showers at night, then a chance of rain and snow, mostly cloudy, low of 28 degrees. SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard time. The Cougars won their fourth straight game beating Williamsport in the district's 2-4-6A sub-regional semifinals. Damon Horton rushed for over 200 yards in the win. Sparky Wolk passed for 173 yards and Jacob Hunzinger had 69 yards receiving. For the second year, Hazleton faces Delaware Valley on the road in the title game. Mitch Wagner caught a 90-yard touchdown and returned an interception to the house in the fourth quarter as North Schuylkill beat Jim Thorpe in the District 11 AAA playoffs. North Schuylkill will face Notre Dame Green Pond in the championship after they beat Tamaqua on Saturday. In the District 11 single-A football playoffs, Marion was eliminated by Williams Valley and Monoy area lost to West Catholic in another sub-regional AA semifinal. Hazleton area's doubles team of Lily Nowak and Alyssa Mazurik lost in the first round of the state AAA doubles tennis championships. The team won the district's 2-4 sub-regional title. Nowak had a heck of a career at the Big HA and will try to get her, her and Mazurik on the news soon. North Schuylkill's Corey McCormick and Marion's Nicole Caparel won state medals in cross country. McCormick was 7th in the AA race and Caparel was 20th in the single-A race. Coming up in sports, we meet the Pocono Ninja and talk about his time on NBC's American Ninja Warrior. And our John Eric Poli talks with Joe Madden about an honor the Cubs manager received at an upcoming boxing event in Hazleton. Watch SSP TV in Hazleton in HD on Service Electric Cable Vision Channel 513 and in SD on Channel 13. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Freeland will be sponsoring an indoor community yard sale on Saturday, November 10th from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Contact information is listed on your screen. And the Lehigh Valley Hospital Schuylkill will be having a free hot breakfast for veterans in the community on Saturday, November 7th from 7.30 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. To register for this event, you can call Lehigh Valley Health Network or register online. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Alvin J. Fatula of Freeland. Mass will be Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. at St. Mary's Byzantine Catholic Church. Friends may call Wednesday from 8.30 to 9.15 a.m. at the McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home. Robert Bob J. Crash of Hazleton. A memorial service will be held Sunday at 4 p.m. at the Boyle Funeral Home. Friends may call Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. at the funeral home. Paul D. Rahal of Hazel Township, the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home, will announce their arrangements. And today, we remember Christopher L. Polchek. Forever loving you and always missing you. Love Mom, Ed, Tony Jr., Son Elijah, and Malia.